Hi YouTube, this is Anaconda Aaron, and I, I'm going to do a care video on the blue bar and below B panther chameleon. And Andrew, I'm sure this care video will probably work for you too, for whatever type of chameleon you're getting. Um, <coughs> there he is, right there is mine. I know he looks skinny, but he just like hanging upside down, so it's at the angle I feed him. He, feed, he gets fed every single day. Yep, so, to start off, you need the cage. They need a screen cage. You know, you guys can get those reptarium cages that, if you want, it's really less high quality cage. More for like just something to take them outside in or to take it to shows in or things like that. But you can get them for way, way cheaper than these. I would have got a reptarium cage just because of how extremely cheaper they are. And just it would be like a hundred and fifty dollars cage if I didn't get the good deal on it. And the reptarium would have been about. 35 to 75 dollars around in there for one like this but I got a good deal I got the chameleon this um some dead branches which I replaced all of them by now it's just been a long time since I've had them since I had the dead first one you can kind of see his tail curling up right there see the colors you can't really see it too good there it is um I kind of forgot what I was saying but I was going to the next thing I'm watering they need to be misted at daily a few times a day to keep it night keep try to you don't want to like keep the leaves all can soak the entire day so about two to three times even four like just in the morning middle of the day and night so we normally do at my house um you feed them you can feed them from daily to once every few day once every two to three so many days feed them crickets mealworms wax worms captive red beetles and different types of roaches all kinds of stuff so the door keeps it close there. Um, this is about a 40 gallon um, screen cage, it's exact size, it's just a normal 40 gallon tank, but it just turned over. You can see right there. Yep. The, the blue bar envelopes they get, I've heard of them getting up to 24 inches, but probably about 18 to 20 inches. You can see my dog wants to be let out, to ring his little bell. Don't bark. Alright. There's the mist on the ground that the snow is using, so I'll see a little demonstrating right there. So I got this with it and everything for like 200 bucks or something. Well, I don't know the price, but I know it was a heck of a good deal, especially for a four month old. So I'm trying to mess with the sprayer, trying to get it to open to let all the compressed air out, but it's not working, so I'll see that after the video. If I, I use all life plants with the, some exceptions, they're a little fake plant the fake vine and the little one up there. But these are both different types of ficus. Believe it or not, this is in the ficus family. So like a rubber ficus or rubber bush or something like that. Here's a one the plain green ficus and I have a green and white one in the crested gecko tank. Yep. Um I'm only doing the pan the Panther chameleon care because I don't have any other types and I don't don't really know too much on care for the others. Um so, with heating, you want uh, like a 30, 30 to 50 watt bulb. You want it to be about a 80, 90 degree hot spot in there. You are going to want UVB. I'm not sure the exact watt of UVB or whatever, but just a rainforest UVB. This is a really nice one. Heating and everything came in the deal, too, that I got. So, I got a really good deal on them. It's about $300, $400 worth of stuff for a really cheap price. I can't really remember what the price was. Yep. So these plants I just got at like Home Depots or I think I got in the or yeah, I think I got at the orchard in Tracy. Um so you're gonna need a big cage about a forty gallon for that'll hold it for most of its life when they get to be their full eighteen to twenty four inches you might wanna upgrade a little bit. I'm probably gonna end up custom building them one and making a little bigger so it'd fit on the stand but just big enough for them. Uh Feeding daily, you're going to want to calcium dust the crickets every other day with uh, just normal kind and once a month if you, like every other feeding I should say, since some people don't feed them every single day. Um, once a month, or if you want, you can do some that other the bright white kind. I don't know where the calcium that I use is. This is, I've been looking for it, I don't know where it is. It might be down over here, let me check. Um, oh, here it is right here. Alright, this is the one that you do every other feeding. And the other kind, let me bring you over to the laundry room so I can show you. Wait, so. 
Sorry, this video is a little long and boring. Let me start. Let me pop back over. Here we go. That stuff. Hey, this is actually a free sample. I have a really, I have a lot bigger one. Yep. So there's that red calcium or whatever. Yep. So it's not really much more to say. I don't want to have this video be a heck of a long time since it'll take forever to upload. Um, I use paper towels and bedding just because there's no way they can compact it and stuff. It's just plain sheets and it's easy to clean, like with that poo. All I have to do is just take the one piece out. Alright, um, rate, comment, subscribe. Bye.